The upcoming Transformers Age of Extinction has just released a new TV spot showing off some of the high intensity action from the film. Transformers Age of Extinction hits AMC theaters on July 27th. John, buy or sell this new TV spot. I'm going to buy the spot. And the main reason I'm going to buy the spot is this, is look, everybody knows I absolutely loved the first Transformers movie as much as I absolutely loathed the second two Transformers mm -hmm. movies. And when I was at uh, CinemaCon back in April in Vegas, they showed us like eight minutes of Transformers, this new one. And my big apprehension coming out of that was the fact that it seemed very human heavy, very human centric from the eight minutes they showed us with a, a spattering of Optimus Prime here and there. And I thought this is not the right way. I'm a big Mark Wahlberg fan, yeah. but this is not the right way to go. The more stuff that's been coming out now, though, we are seeing, much like this new TV spot, it is Transformer-centric, all this stuff. Now, whether that's just them realizing they had to make a shift in their marketing or not, mm. of course, it also makes sense. The, the last thing that's going to be ready are the scenes with the Transformers themselves. Mm -hmm. That's the last thing that's going to be finished. So now as we're getting closer to release date, maybe now they're ready to show us more of this stuff. I am coming around. I've, I started off opposed to this movie. I became moderately okay with it and I and it's more and more been moving me to the point where it's like you know what I'm I'm looking forward to it now watch it'll be an hour and 55 minutes of Mark Wahlberg five minutes of Optimus Prime I mean I hope not but I am this kind of marketing is moving me in that direction Alicia you saw the trailer what do you think well I'm not such a Michael Bay fan um, never have been and this has Michael Bay all over it I love <laughs> at the end of this spot it says Transformers a Michael Bay film it's like yeah you can tell right. from every single frame because he has the same style in every movie. But uh, I do actually like this TV spot because it played like a music video. Mm -hmm. They had oh, like, a little did, bit yeah. of dialogue and mixed in with the music, a little bit of dialogue. And I was thinking, if I could just watch a four minute music video that summed up the whole movie, I'd prefer that. <laughs> yeah. Christian? I'm also hesitantly going to buy it. And it's just it, everything you said, John, he does this every time, Michael Bay. He, he These trails that you see, it's like, Wait, there's a lot of humans. Oh, oh, there's the Transformers. And even in the movie, he gives you a lot of Transformers. The problem in the movies are, it's not even that there's too many humans. It's the stuff coming out of the humans' mouths. Like, the comedy is just, yeah. just doesn't hit. Michael Bay's not funny, thinks he is, puts these jokes in there, and it kills it. If there's just a lot of this stuff that we saw in the trailer, with a lot of the fighting and prime, maybe more a little heavy on the Transformers fighting and their stories, the movie, still the movie I haven't seen that I would like to, this gives me a little hope, but it's given me hope in every single movie, and I've been let down. So hopefully with Mark Wahlberg this time as the lead, and not Shia LaBoots, as I call him, would, uh, <laughs> I, I, um, yeah. It's his birthday today, by the way. Is it? Yeah, All right. it's birthday. Now, I, I actually think, now, if I'm remembering this right from the stuff I saw, and this might be considered a, 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 this might be considered a bit of a spoiler. So just, if you don't want to know anything, I, I wouldn't consider a spoiler because they showed it to us at CinemaCon. Yeah. So maybe mute for, for a minute here, what I'm <laughs> going to say. Uh, I got the impression from the um, footage they showed us at CinemaCon that actually Galvatron is created by the humans. The humanity created Galvatron. Mm. And then from new footage I saw of scientists going over the Megatron wreckage, I'm thinking they sort of follow the spirit of the animated film. That's cool. They take Megatron's corpse and build Galvatron mm. around him, which is is interesting because it's yeah. kind of it's departing yeah. from the core mythology yeah. and yet it's kind of staying true to the spirit of it in a way. It's hard to do. It would be hard to. Do. I mean, in the cartoon, it's Unicron that makes him as the big planet. Yes. And it, that's that's too much. So it, it could it could work. It just if it wasn't Michael. Bad. So that sounds cool. I just worry to how he executes. He just doesn't execute. That to way. me, though, I, see, I'm not a Michael Bay hater in the sense that he has had a couple of films that for me that have knocked it out of the park for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Armageddon is admittedly one of my biggest guilty pleasure movies. I actually really like Armageddon. The Rock, I think, is a Rock's tremendous, the Rock is is good. A tremendous Rock's awesome. movie. Absolutely. And I, I mean, a lot of guys like Bad Boys yeah, and Bad Boys. I can say that. I really like the first Transformers movie. So. Yeah, he's got the island, and he's got whatever it is he's doing as a producer on this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, and yeah. he's got Transformers 2 and 3. So for me, it's like, it's a flip of a coin, right? For me, yeah. it's like, flip of a coin, am I going to love this or hate it, so... More explosions. More explosions. Yeah. Slow motion. Hey, everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button, and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC movie talk show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook 
and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.